watching out for you tonight. An intense active shooter drill at Pueblo's East High School today. It's a situation no one should have to face, but we have witnessed it is a reality across the country and here in Colorado. And because of that reality, it is necessary training for first responders and schools. Bill Folsom in our Pueblo studio tonight. He was involved with an up close look at that exercise today. Bill, tell us more about what happened today. Yeah, we were given access to the heart of this exercise and you do know it's practice, but yet you get so close, it feels awfully close to real and troubling. Gunfire. One gun, then another. Also explosions. Even though we know it's coming, you don't know when, you don't know how, you don't know where, and you know, it's, it's nerve wracking. East High students on a day off showing up for the drill. They've seen troubling images after attacks at other schools. Now they have an idea of what it's like when you suddenly hear gunfire from somewhere in your school. Just hearing, the, hearing gunshots in general is, is a scary thing because you don't know where they're coming from. Sounds of a threat from an unknown location growing to seeming chaos as law enforcement arrives. It was very scary. It was very realistic. Um, you have your adrenaline going. The scenario is an unknown shooter or shooters in the school. There are casualties, some alive, some dead. The manhunt includes obstacles officers have to face during response that's a manhunt and also a rescue. Doors were locked. We didn't have the keys to get in some of them. Then had officers taking fire. A lot going on and a lot to do. Armed with explosive. Uh, know exactly what, what we should do and what not to do. Work as one team because in the event that this really occurs, um, every agency is going to be there and we're all going to have our own parts. New skills, no one here ever wants to use for real. Always prepare for the unexpected. You never know what's coming. A lot learned today and the exercise was also recorded so later they can go back for a critical analysis of what, what, what went right and what can happen better in the future.